This, this event is to celebrate my father and his great accomplishments in Speedway and throughout the industry, and most recently to celebrate his contributions to my gambling fund in Las Vegas. <laughs> Actually, it was uh, 35 years ago that my parents were last in Vegas together on their honeymoon. I think it's, and congratulations for being married for 35 years. It took you quite a while to get back, but it's good that you're here. It's appro just as appropriate that you're here today to celebrate your uh, Retail Leader of the Year Award as it was probably back when you were celebrating your honeymoon. I th it was probably a testament to their marriage that it could last with all these scantily clad people walking through the lobbies. <laughs> Many of you know my father in a business context, and I'm hoping to share a couple stories of... Um, him on a more personal level as a father, as a husband. If I had to describe my father in a couple words, I'd have to say that he's actually a very simple man. He's very humble, and he's obviously, as Ray mentioned, he's a very loving father and a loving husband. I never knew how accomplished my father truly was for the majority of my childhood and growing into my adulthood as well. It was actually until the advent of the internet and search engines of, such as Google <laughs> that I actually truly started to come to grips with what an accomplished businessman my dad was. I would Google my name and nothing is more humbling than <laughs> seeing nothing. <laughs> And, you know, it wasn't just me, it was, you know, my mom, my, my brother, many, many other people. I would Google, I would Google everyone, but I would Google my dad and just pages on pages of information. And, you know, I'd start clicking and I'm like, all right, this is, this is fairly interesting stuff. And then I would see some SEC filings on salary and I'm like, all right, this is really interesting. <laughs> <laughs> So that's about when I realized that he's, he's a very important man in the business and in the industry. <laughs> but my father, he never talked about his promotions growing up. He, he would, it would be a, 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 in the same light as uh, an exam. I got an A on an exam. Well, I, I, I got promoted. And it was very similar light. He was very, he didn't, he didn't brag. He didn't, you know, bestow on his accomplishments. He, he, he was always about his family more first. He, even today, he's more curious, despite being the president of a multi-billion dollar company, he's more curious about my work at low level audit. And he's asking me questions, you know, what audit were you on? Where were you? How was your travel? Were you safe? What were you doing? I'm like, dad, too many questions. <laughs> and he says, okay, I just have one question that you need to answer. Do you enjoy your job? I said, yes. I, you know, sometimes yes, I enjoy my job. Sometimes no. And my dad would say, you know, well, if you don't like what you do, you know, you should truly try to find a different line of work. I'm like, okay, that's probably not the answer you would expect. But my dad always said, and he always told me, he's like, if you enjoy what you do, then you never truly work a day in your life. And he truly lives that. And I thought, you know, at first I thought, you know, that's easy for you to say. You're the president of Speedway. You probably just, you know, golf around, have dinners, <laughs> go to... But quite the contrary, actually, and it wasn't, it was past year when this Hess deal was going down and I was on the phone with my mom and it was, you know, at 8.30 at night, I was talking to her, I'm like, you know, what are you guys going to do tonight? And she said, well, you know, we're going to get, we're going to go out to eat when your dad gets home. I'm like, get home, Where, where's he at? We still at work and he's been at work till nine every, every day this week for the past month, for the past couple months working on these deals. And my dad was such a diligent worker, and he always would bring his work, you know, he would bring his work home, and he would work, and, and he, but he would always, any time we would stop and talk with him, every time it was put the work down and talk. And it would it'd be interesting that we would, we, I would call my dad, and I'd be on the phone with him, and it was always, I could call him, you know, 8 o'clock, and he was probably at the office working, but he would stop and he would talk. He never complained, never talked about you know, any troubles, it was always me. It was always me. He never, he never wanted me to worry. It was always about my life and my happiness. And I truly appreciate that. And I truly would, ne I would never know if it wasn't for other people coming up to me, telling me, I'm so happy to have talked with a lot of you about the relationships that you've developed with my dad. 
I'm very appreciative of it, of it. It means a lot to me. I'm very proud of you, Dad, for what you've done. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Growing up, it was always, you know, no worries. Thank you, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to get through this. <laughs> My dad probably couldn't write the book on parenting. He probably did everything against what the book would say. He never made me do chores, he never... <laughs> I never got in trouble if I ever wanted to get out of time out, I would just talk to him. <laughs> it, <laughs> it was never ask your mother, it was always I'm gonna ask the dad. <laughs> He never wanted me to worry. I appreciate everything. Thank you.